when we say elimination of evil attributes it has five steps or five stages elimination of evil attributes consists of five stages <clears throat> first of all is purification of body purifying of body this is taharatul jism taharatul badan you take shower you take ablution you clean cleanse your physical organs your body this is tahara purification of your body and then comes purification of senses purification of your eyes your ears your tongue your stomach your hearing your seeing your eating you are doing different things so all important organs which are the places of our senses second step is purification of senses taharatul hawas purification of senses first is taharatul badan or taharatul jism purification of body <coughs> you see what is wudu ablution it is just washing of certain organs of body but holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that i will recognize my ummah from the light coming out of the organs of the ablutions on the day of judgment this is not just pouring water and washing the organs of the body no this body purification inculcates light into your life it inculcates is makes light enter in your mind and heart <clears throat> so always remaining clean and always continuing your wudu your ablution definitely is the first stage of purification of tazkiya and tahara those who don't keep their body clean they can't keep their mind and heart clean simple and hawas the senses and then is purification of your brain purification of your mind first is purification of your body organs then purification of our senses when we tell lie so our tongue is impure so a liar can never achieve the blessings of the recitation of quran can never achieve the blessings of the zikr remembrance of almighty allah a person who speaks wrong in a wrong way and has evil talks and gossip can never achieve the light of his acts of worship because we are aspecting something from our inner self while keeping our out self unclean dirty <clears throat> so we have to start from outer side from our body then our senses and when senses are clean definitely when we purify our senses 
this purification of senses our eyes our ears our hands our tongues our feet our stomach lukma our food if it is haram you are praying years and years will not benefit you faraid and nawafil and hajj and umrah and sadaqa khairat nothing will benefit you if the lukma the food haram is going in our stomach my dear sons and daughters if we keep our eyes impure maybe through cell phones smartphones maybe through computers maybe through social media if we keep our ears impure maybe through social media and we still expect that our recitation remembrance and halaka and nasheed and nath will provide us noor this is impossible we have to keep all organs of our body pure if there is no purity in our body please understand that we cannot achieve any purity of mind and heart and soul purity of body with ghusl and wudu then purity of our awas our senses every single organ every single sense purify your eyes my daughters and my sons because every sense has a door which opens towards heart there is a door in our eyes which opens into heart there are doors in our ears which open into our hearts there are doors in our tongue in our stomach in our hands and feet which open into our hearts so we are sending evils and dirt and impurity every day through all senses to our heart and still expect that our heart will become pure we are filling it every day with dust with dirt this is a natural process this is an order which we can't disturb we can't break it with our desires or our so called thinkings and our thoughts and our self concocted philosophies we are lost we are not true believers we are deceiving ourselves so in order <clears throat> even if you take shower will you be happy to wear a very dirty dress or clothe clothe yourself with a very dirty dress will you do that no someone say no your body is clean but doesn't matter with the dress you don't wear a dirty dress in the same way body is the dress of your heart if body is unclean how can your heart get cleanliness this is clothing clothing of our senses body is clothing our senses garments of above our senses senses are the garments of our brain our mind mind is the garment of our heart and heart is the garment of our soul and soul is the garment of our secret if outer layers are dirty and dusty you can't achieve purity in inner self after senses you purify your dimag your brain your mind it means purification of your thoughts purification of your ideas the whole life revolves around thoughts and ideas 
If thoughts are not purified, how can be your intention purified? If intentions are not purified, how can your act be accepted by Almighty Allah? So this is a sequence which you can't break or disturb. Purity of brain and mind. <clears throat> then comes purity of heart. As I mentioned in the beginning, there are some people who claim, who claim to be Ahlu Tasawwuf or they can claim to be among the Mashaikh. They can wrongly claim to be among the Mashaikh. And they say, let us purify the heart first. If heart is purified, everything will be purified later. This is just an act of misguidance, a deceit, deceiving yourself, going against the principles. Nothing happens like that. So you have to start purification from outside and gradually layer by layer you are going inside to inner side. This is the way and the path which Almighty Allah and His beloved Prophet and the elders, pious generations have fixed and explained. After brain, when your thoughts are purified, then comes the stage of purification of heart. Because heart is a place of wish and desire. If your thoughts are impure, your desires and wishes cannot become pure. Thoughts and ideas create desires in heart. All these things are interlinked. You can't disconnect one thing from other. You can't isolate the purity of heart from purity of mind. And you can't isolate the purity of mind from purity of senses. You can't separate the purity of senses from purity of mind. Everything is interconnected. <coughs> Your outer living, your outer actions indicate your inner personality, your state of mind, whether you are a disciplined man or not, whether you are an organized man or not. If we go to your, somebody's, if I visit somebody's bedroom, you go to somebody's bedroom and you see everything ups and downs. What does it mean? His bedroom is not only up and down. His whole personality, his thought, his mind set up is ups and down. He has no discipline in his thought. He has no organization in his personality. So everything, that, whatever is seen in outside is reflection of our inner life. <coughs> and if you discipline your outer life, it helps in disciplining yourself in your inner levels. So outer purification helps inner purification. But focusing on just inner purification, leaving the outer purification away does not help you, never. That's why Almighty Allah has constituted the prayer, namaz, the salat, with certain apparent acts, physical acts. Otherwise, he would have said, just sit and remember me in your heart. Meditate. As people do in certain religions now. But no. Islam has constituted all acts of worship with special practices. Acts. You stand, you do qiyam, you do ruku, you recite something, you go for prostration, you sit, you recite, you turn your right, face right and left. All these are outer, apparent, external, bodily acts. Physical acts. Why? Because every physical act has an impact on inner side. Sujood brings you closer to Allah. What is tasbih? Glorification, we read something from with our mouth, with tongue. It has an impact 
on our heart and our spirit. So we can't separate outer aspect of act and inner aspect of act. This is just a delusion and deceit. So when our heart is purified, it means our wishes and desires are purified. When our wishes and desires are purified, then our soul and our secret is purified also. <laughs> so stately, when we wash our body and we receive the purity of body, and we purify our senses, our doors are closed for evil, sinful things. We purify our mind, it means we have purified our thoughts, our way of thinking, our ideas are pure now. By having purifying the mind and thoughts and ideas, now we have achieved the stage of purifying the heart. When puri heart is purified, it means now our desires and wishes are purified. What does it mean? Purification of desire. Purification of wish and desire. This purity refers to the purity of our secret and purity of our soul and purity of our inner self. And purity of inner self means cutting off your relations with everything which takes you away from Lord. Detaching yourself from everything that takes you away from your Lord. This is purity of your inner self. <laughs>